welcome to Studio K Nine Design Studio. This is Richmond speaking, your resident architect. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the zone tool, which is this tool right here. As I select it, and uh, as you can see, it's already set to the uh, to the zone. So. Before I continue, I'd like to encourage you guys to like, comment and subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing videos like this every week. Now with that said, let's get on with the video. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the ground floor plan. On the ground floor plan, uh, as you can see, this is the same floor plan we've been using for our previous two videos. Uh, when I talk about how to design a floor plan, layout 2D floor plan and a 3D floor plan. So in this video, obviously, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the zone tool. Now, the zone tool um, is very simple to use. So uh, I'm not really going to go too much into it right now, but you can always change the zone name. And uh, another thing that uh, I want to do is I want to change from generic to home zone for home. So I think I'm, I'm happy with that. So um, now nah, actually. I'm gonna go back and change it to this one and then I'm gonna go ahead and change it to, to the zone I don't know why that changed but it did change so to the zone uh, so I want it in a different layer because I can then uh, manipulate it separately in, uh, in the future so another thing that you want to know about the zones is that obviously you can change the name uh, you can change the the floor and ceiling height so obviously here it's it's currently saying that the subfloor level is 100 millimeters from the uh, reference plan of zero so i'm going to leave the subfloor um thickness at zero for now and then i want to also change the floor to ceiling height because the the zone top is actually uh, connected to the first floor level but i can go ahead and just say zero or i can then un unlink it and uh, as you can see, I have the design height of 2.6 meters uh, and everything like that. So everything from here is, is fine. Uh, I'm not worried too much about anything that's going to be showing up there. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, what you want to do is you want to pick cast, uh, construction method uh, inner edge next or you can use the reference line first or you can use the um, poly rectangular rotated rectangular uh, and so on so these are the ones this is the poly this is the rectangular this is the rotated rectangular for this one for now i want to be using the um, uh, inner edge uh, inner edge so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold down space bar on my keyboard and then i'm going to click somewhere in this area and then I'm going to click to sort of like place my uh, stamp so this here with the zone with the zero one and the area is just the, the stamp uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys how do we go ahead and manipulate this so for what you can do is uh, you can manipulate this area and then we can call it a let's say a uh, lounge so another thing that you can notice is that this, this this zone is also going into the kitchen and also going into the passage. So you can then maybe if you want to, you can drag it by doing the offset edge from that point to this point and then you can drag it from that point also to this point right here. So that's, that's the lounge right there. So before I continue showing you guys every, uh, every other place, uh, I want us to go sort of like in depth into how we can then manipulate it even more going, going further. So what I want us to do is um, we can manipulate it uh, by maybe you want to show the on the floor plane if you want to show the outer line but I don't want to show the outer line here I want to show sort of like the floor finish and in this uh, lounge area the floor finish is going to be a wood finish so I'm going to be using the blank uh, fill and then the fill line is going to be I'm going to be using the 30% and then the background 
the background color is going to be a uh, I'm just gonna leave it as uh, maybe no background color right there <laughs> so I'm no longer worried about that I'm no longer worried about the floor plan uh, what I'm going to be worried about from this point on is I you can either set it you want it to the pen the pen you want it to be a uniform pen so uh, I'm going to be using this pen this pen weight and uh, the text I'm going to be using 1.8 um, millimeters high for the pen and uh, everything else I'm fine with except maybe I would want to use that and then the finishes the settings uh, so there are two ways that you'd want to set it you can uh, create a, a scale sensitive display or you can create a uniform display so the ones that are already activated is the uh, 1 in 50 uh, 1 in 50 appearance uh, content 1 in 100 and then uh, the 1 in 100 um, appearance and then you can have the uh, 1 in 200 and then 1 in 200 appearance and then so on and so forth uh, as, as you as you wish but for this one I'm going to be using a uniform display so I'm going to be uh, we can go more into deep you can take your own time and learn how how can you manipulate all of this just to make this simple for this video I'm going to be using the uniform uniform pen uh, uniform display I mean for the stamp the stamp is the uh, is this element you see right here as you can see when I when I um, approve my my settings you'll see that the the the, the, the background now for the um, lounging area the lounge area is now showing lines which is a blank finish indicating that this is a wood floor so now i'm gonna go ahead and go back to my stamp area so under stamp you can uh, uh you can change content you can change uh basic data you can change uh, zone identification uh finishes uh area volume um uh, custom text uh, classifications not going to be worried about classifications right now uh, you can also uh, identify how do you want the appearance to look like how do you want the text to look like how do you want the pointer if you're using a pointer and 2d presentation uh, that's really up to you area and volume um, uh, pricing not going to be worried about that right now but before I continue with this one, let's look at other things that you can manipulate. You can manipulate the, the finish of the actual volume uh, error because it's considered to be a solid element in, in, in Archicad. Uh, and then you can um, manipulate other things like uh, calculate uh, area calculations. So you can then subtract walls, uh, curtain walls, columns, uh, and so on and so forth. You can reduce. I'm not going to really go into that right now uh, maybe in a later video and then you can have your classification pro and, and uh, uh, properties I'm not going to be worried about that right now I usually uh, go into here when I want to make um, specific schedules so um, under the stamp so we know for, for a fact that we want to have it as a uniform display so I'm going to go to content and uh, as you can see right here on the screen on top uh, this is where you can see what's going to be happening. So the first thing I want to do is that um, uh, Under all these elements this this drop-down menus in here, so you can choose uh, Okay, I want to show maybe the, the zone number because it's not showing as you can see it shows up on the on the, uh, the preview window over here under the zone stamp okay you want to change maybe the zone name you want to have a, a second zone name if you if, if you want to do that uh, but i have some specific things that i want to show uh for, for this one so first and foremost i want to show the name which is already showing and uh, the second thing that i want to show is the finish so i'm not going to be showing the zone number here i'm going to be showing the finish so i'm gonna go ahead and, and click on um finish it right here and i only want to show the floor finish as you can see here uh, or, or on the preview window is showing two um finishes it's showing two boxes 
or areas that are going to be finishes is because number five is already a finish on its own so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click zone number because it's not showing and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead uh, and click this arrow on the left hand side of this uh, drop down menu and then i'm going to switch off the zone which means that i do not want to see it so now uh the the, the finishes i do have um and then i the next thing i want the flow finish uh, the flow finish um let's see now i mean the the finish floor level so uh height value so i'm going to go for height value and i'm going to say uh finish floor level as you can see also i'm, I'm having two uh finish floor levels over here because uh it's showing elsewhere um so Let's just check where else, oh, there you go. There it is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and say zone number so that it doesn't show. The other thing that I want to uh, include is actually the area. So um, I'm going to click the drop down menu for number four and I'm going to be going for zone area. And then I'm going to just go for measured area right here. And it's showing two of them over here so number seven also i'm just gonna go ahead and say zone name because i do not want to see that at this point in time and then after you're done with content you can uh, click this and then it uh, drop it gives you a drop down menu but you can always toggle to the left basic data or go back here stamp uh, display settings so i can go to the next thing zone name I'm, I'm happy with the zone name because i'm not showing the zone number and i'm not showing the the the, the second zone name uh, and so on and so forth i'm just going to be showing the uh, zone zone name on its own you can also maybe uh if you you want to do use a category as a name uh so as you can see uh, we're using a category which is generic so it's going to be uh indicating that this is a generic so I'm going to switch that off so that I'm going to be using the desired name, which is lounge. On the next one is the zone identification. Uh, I'm not really worried about this right now. Everything's fine. And then uh, the, uh, the finishes. So the title, I want it to be finish. And then the, um, you can add a, say tile or you can say screen carpet uh uh pack or whatever that, whatever that is or, or you can have custom right now custom is ticked so what i can do under finish is i can go in here and type in uh, i want this to be wood if you wanted to show the wall finish you can click on wall and then it's going to show up over there and then you can just say wall fit finish instead of the acronym for it and then you can have uh, maybe plaster if you want to do something like that so I'm gonna switch that off because I don't want to be showing that right here and then the finish flow level uh, I'm happy with the finish flow level the way it is right now um, if you want the zone level you can also have the zone level and then you can also change the mark style uh, to maybe something like that or what you can do is you can use text which is the finish floor level which is something that i'm desiring right now and then you can toggle to the next one and then measure the area instead of a over here i'm just gonna put in rea so that it indicates that this is area over there so i like the way that that looks uh, you can also add other things like the reduced area the calculated area the window area um, um, not really sure okay so it is showing the window area right there but uh, i'm not really worried about that right now uh, that's a story for another day so i'm gonna move on to the next one i don't have a custom text um and uh, i'm i'm happy with everything else uh under classifications the next thing i'd want to go to is the appearance so the frame style you can either have no frame uh, you can have a frame only on the outer edges you can have only the frame uh, that doesn't uh, that doesn't include the zone name or you can have a frame which is sort of like cutting through each and every one of them and then you can have 
this type of frame so it's really up to you i really want to be using this type of frame for now <sighs> everything else i'm fine with uh you can also manipulate the text and override style pointer to the presentation but i'm not going to be going um, i'm not going to go into it uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the next one which is exactly the the sub uh, the sub selections of the uh, the appearances so all of these one two three are already one two three over here so i'm going to go ahead and and, and do exactly that so i want to override the block uh the the override the style of the text uh block uh and i want it to be obviously bold no i don't want it to be bold actually um text block zone name okay that's the, the zone name is one to, what I want to overwrite here because I want to change that to be a a, 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 a thinner line and then I, I want it to be bold and this is too big so I'm going to leave it at, at uh, uh, two millimeters high and then you can change also maybe the 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 the, the, um, the font the, the the font type. Let's go on to the next thing. If you're using a pointer, you'd want to maybe I uh, select what type of a pointer you're going to be using over here. If you also use, if you you can also manipulate the presentation in 2D, but I'm fine with the way that it's showing right now, unless maybe I want the background over here, the background flow to be sort of like transparent, uh, as you can see now it's transparent over there so this is how it's going to look like but i'm going to go back into it and go to my text uh zone name i'm just gonna say override that and it's going to be bold and i'm quite happy with that there you go so with that said what i'm going to do is i'm going to select here and then i'm going to drop it over here there you go so what you see also it's selecting everything else so I'm going to cut it from this point and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it from this point also so obviously this is going to be the kitchen so I can just go kitchen and uh, this is going to be zone 2 and uh, instead of uh, wood I'm going to go ahead and uh, finishes uh, and I'm going to be using ceramic ceramic tile and this is going to be the passage and uh, I want to be specific with the passage right here uh, this is going to be the passage and uh, what I want to do with the passage actually is I want to remove something and uh, content so what I want to remove is I maybe just want to show the area only. I'm not really worried about the uh, the, the flow finish. So um, the finishes I can uh, switch that off. The height I can also switch that off. There you go. I'm, I don't think I'm I'm very happy with that. Uh, the other thing you can do because. Um, uh, this is ceramic house, but it's showing as a, a wood finish by the, uh, the, the, the what you call the, the the fill type. So I'm going to go to cover fill, and then I'm just going to choose one of those grid dirty by dirty uh, that works quite well for me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug them in. So I'm holding down uh, spacebar on my keyboard, and then I'm clicking somewhere in this area, and then it selects all the the, the inner walls and then I'm going to drop my stamp over there same thing here drop my stamp over there same thing here drop my stamp over here same thing in this room drop my stamp same thing in the garage drop my stamp same thing in the veranda drop my stamp um, obviously the we have the passage which is zone 3 zone number 3 um, and then I have the study So this is the study, oh, my bed. So this is the study, which is going to be zone number four. And 
and this is going to be the main bedroom which is going to be zone number four five i mean and this is the bedroom number one which is going to be zone number six this is going to be the bathroom and i want to actually include the uh, the water closet over here so i'm quite happy with that uh, the water closet and um this is going to be zone one two three four five six this is going to be zone seven and then uh, the garage is going to be zone eight this is the garage I'm realizing that I forgot to put in the name for the bathroom Uh, just want a capital letter on the bedroom number one for the B and then this is the veranda uh, the veranda is going to be a bar veranda veranda so you can spell it so one two three four five six seven eight so this is nine zone nine if I'm not mistaken so one two three four five six seven eight nine yes so there's, there's nine zones over there uh, with the veranda uh, one thing about the veranda is that um, I'd want to extend so I'm going to click one of the edges and then I'm going to use the uh, add polyline and uh, I'm going to use the, uh, the, the rectangle the rectangle drafting drafting style so that I can extend it and obviously this area and uh, that area it's uh, going to be ceramic tile so let's go ahead and go into finishes and then go say ceramic tile and capital letter tile it will look better for me and also um i'm going to change the the floor finish representation so the cover fill is going to be um thread daddy daddy and then this one is going to be um let's go ahead and go into the stamp and then uh, finishes this one is going to be screed or let's just say concrete screed Uh, with that said, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say um, okay, and then I'm going to manipulate the cover field to render so that it just indicates that this is sort of like a concrete surface over here. So I'm quite happy with that, except for this area right here. Maybe uh, what you'd want to do is you'd want to uh, sort of like rotate it. So how do you rotate it? Uh, you can go ahead under the, the zone stamp and then you can uh, angle fix to model and then you can change the angle size uh, because it was previously locked to 90 degrees and then now it fits quite perfectly into the study area over there. Uh, another thing here is uh, I want this floor because it's a, a bit offset, it's a, it's a 75 uh, millimeter lower so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to say uh, the finish floor level minus that so it's not changing so what you can do is you can either manipulate it um under settings and then uh, finishes okay so the one thing you can do is you can manipulate it here uh, uh a custom manipulation over here the automatic value is actually showing over here but so what you can do is you can say uh, click the automatic value and it's uh, changed over here so that's going to be minus blah 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 the one thing that I'm realizing right now is that it's indicated as uh, millimeter as meters but 
I actually want the the whole view here. This is for a, a future reference. I want it to show as a, a millimeter millimeter. So under the dimensions, uh, quick options, I'm going to change it to plain millimeters. So that actually affects everything. Even the area is now indicated in millimeters. But what we can do is I can click on zone, select all zones in the in the view and then i can go ahead and uh, manipulate the area and volume so zone zone area unit so i can use in custom unit and it's going to go back to square meters which i prefer there you go so all of them have been changed uh, and then maybe uh, i can just move a couple of these things a couple of these things sort of like properly into view um everything is fine everything is fine everything is fine everything is fine study uh that's that's also fine i'm not really going to worry about presentation too much uh the veranda also um yeah i'm kind of happy with that <laughs> the area sarimutal veranda that's fine so I can just save that. So another thing that uh, I'd like for us to get into uh, with this is, sure, it's nice and dandy that you can actually create the stamps and create annotations for the rooms. But what else can you do with the zone tool, considering that it's actually a 3D element, is you can actually create a schedule. So I'm going to click on schedule. I'm, I'm gonna go on. Uh, uh, schedule right here and then I'm going to call this one 001 uh, that's just an ID for the schedule um, and then the schedule name is going to be um, zone information uh, and then I'm going to leave it as an element and I'm going to leave it as new I'm not going to duplicate anything and then I'm gonna say okay so what you want to do is you want to actually create a criteria so the criteria here uh, they, there's already something you can add maybe criteria so on and so forth maybe uh, flow elements you can use fills you can use lines cut lines blah blah blah, blah, blah. you can use ifc's you can use identity id and categories uh, this is why I was telling you about the IDs and categories that I, I sometimes use them when I'm creating schedules. So this is just one of those things. Uh, you can use, you can actually create profiles and everything like that. But for this one, uh, I think I'm going to just leave it the way it is, just an element. And then uh, the type is going to be zone. So there you, there, there, there you go. So this is the criteria of, of all the information we're going to be pulling from the model, the ARCHICAD model which we are creating right now. Uh, so another thing that you want to do is um, you would want to add fill, add, add um, fills. So under fills, you see that according to the criteria set above, these are the only things you can actually pull from the model. So zone is actually in showing. So I'm going to go ahead and add the zone number and the zone name and uh, maybe uh, I'll add the measured area maybe first of all before I, I, I use the measured area um, actually yeah let me in, include the measured area I think it's fine um, and then you can also add wall parameters so you can, you can add wall parameters the reason why you want to add wall parameters maybe if you want to uh, calculate the amount of skirting and corners you'd want to use skating for the floor and then corners for the for the ceiling or i think in some areas they call it the crown uh, so yeah the other thing maybe i'd want to include here is volume uh, i don't know if, if your volume is actually included here but um I have the measured area, I have the finished floor, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me just think what else I want. Parameters, volume, I want volume. And uh, what I can do is I can just click on top right here, search volume. 
so these are the options we have for volume so i'm just gonna create select uh, general conditional volume and then just add that and um what else do i want because i have the area and then i have the floor finishes i actually remember that the the floor finish um actually let's just go back to I'm gonna delete that under zone one thing i want is the the finish floor level so let's see if we can get the finish floor level here So I'm, I'm, I'm realizing right now that um, the height and levels are actually not included as part of the zones. So that's quite disappointing. So, but you'll ha what you'll have to do is you, you'll probably have to manipulate it manually. So uh, what you can do if you want to manipulate it uh, manually is you can go to under general and use uh, custom text. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use that. So we have the name, we have the 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 the, the, the area, the parameter, the volume, uh, the finish floor level. We don't have, so I'm going to be using a custom text. Uh, the finishes also uh, I don't have, so I'm probably going to have to use a custom text unless maybe I go surface. Let's let's just check surface, yeah. And I'm say okay, and then under schedules over here in my uh, navigation navigation window, I'm gonna go under elements because that's where I save this particular schedule zone information 0001. So I'm going to double click it, and then it's going to open up, and all that element information is actually showing up right here. So uh, what I can do is now I can just maybe extend this a bit. So that everything is in view zone name happy with that uh, measured area happy with that wall perimeter conditional volume conditional volume is not showing i'm actually quite disappointed by this so uh and then it's um custom text and um so what i want to go ahead and remove is conditional volume and surfaces so i'm going to go under surfaces remove that and actually add a custom text under general custom text number two and what i want to also remove is the conditional volume when i remove that and add a field and uh call it uh volume let's see what i can get if i say volume so conditional volume didn't work uh, i'm going to say general volume and uh, net volume and see how that actually affects our schedule so okay so the the net volume actually works so i can remove the gross volume so the so what i'm gonna do is you can also manipulate this element right here uh, and just say zone number so i'm gonna use the short form uh, no dot for zone number and then i can click here and um, you can also manipulate the, the type of text you're using or how you 
it's really up to you how you want to manipulate the text and uh, the text information here so i want this to be sort of like center aligned all of this to be center aligned so if i select one at the top it affects everything at the bottom so you can you can affect the the font type uh, uh, where is it from the height of the text the uh, the the actual line weight the the distance between the these columns or rows uh, left and right and so on and so forth um, yeah uh, I want to make this bold so it's something that I want to do and uh, so I have the measured area I have the parameters which is all in actual it's actually all in meters and then uh, let's say this one I'm, I want it to be um, finish so I know the lounge is going to be wood so and then I know the kitchen is going to be ceramic. I know the passage is going to be wood. I know the study is going to be wood. I know the main bedroom also is going to be wood. Uh, bedroom number number one is going to be wood. And then the bathroom is going to be ceramic. Hi. and then the garage is going to be a uh, concrete grid the veranda is going to be ceramic tile there you go uh, maybe just uh, so that it doesn't so this is going to be screwed So that's it, and then uh, we can always manipulate. And then the finished floor level. This is going to be uh, zeros. In fact, let me remove the finished floor level. I'm not really worried about that. So uh, the finished floor level is going to be. I'm going to remove that text. And. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. So that's the schedule right there that maybe you'd want to use. Um, another thing that I'd like to, to to let you guys know is that you can manipulate over here by clicking one. These are two areas on the left hand side of all these elements or fields that you've put into your to your schedule, and then you can uh, by hierarchy which one you want to show uh, first. Because we're going vertical, uh, actually we're going horizontal with this schedule right here. As you can see, the names, are, the zone name is now first, and then it's going to identify um, hierarchy by uh, the le the first letters uh, of the of, of, of the the zone names. So that's why I'm using zone numbers instead, so that I want everything sort of like to line up properly from lunch, kitchen, passage, study, main bedroom, bedroom one, bath, uh, garage, and veranda. So that's something that you'd want to get into when it comes to uh, schedules. So another thing you can do is you can, uh, so I'm just gonna click on control shift S, control shift save S. Uh, it's gonna open a dialog for me. There you go. So I'm going to send it to the desktop. You can either send, save it as a doc file, which is going to actually save it as a word file. Uh, but for this one, I want to save it. You can either save it as a PDF, but I just want to save it as an Excel uh, worksheet. So I'm going to save it. And then um, save, I saved it on my desktop. So uh, there it is right there. So let's just open uh, Excel to see. How it's going to look like
and there you go guys uh, you have your schedule uh, indicating all this information and then you can send it to the quantity surveyors uh, and all that and all that stuff another thing that I want to also include is that you can go to the um, when you maybe you want to sort of like create your layout book so you can go to one of the layouts and then um, I see here under view map I actually don't have schedule so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a shortcut and then I'm going to select the schedule over here and then I'm gonna clone it and then I'm just gonna move it up a little bit and then under elements obviously is my uh, 001 zone zones information and then I can just drag and drop it over here uh, so when maybe I put in my plans and elevations and all that stuff I can also pull in my schedule which is going to be shown on my uh, on my page here so yeah guys that's how you uh, actually work with zones and uh, this is how uh, zones can actually be helpful in your overall workflow um, so I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video I definitely hope it was helpful for you um, do like comment and subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing videos like this every week I love you guys God bless you and goodbye <laughs>